In the midst of all the hype surrounding the impending Nintendo Switch reveal, Nintendo quietly released three more videos showcasing Zelda Breath of the Wild, two of which were focused on gameplay, and the third was a four minute video showing off the game's dynamic weather effects. And watching this video stirred up my excitement for the game again, especially because it reminded me of the rain in this game. Now, I've seen rain effects before, it's nothing new, and it's not like this particular rain effect is any more beautiful than the next. Okay, maybe it is, but that's not my point. My point is that I got excited about what that rain means for a game like Breath of the Wild specifically. You see, the thing about world building is that you can't just throw shit in there left and right and expect everything to just mesh together. A cluster of unconnected ideas is no match for carefully thought out elements that all intertwine and connect with one another, to the point where no one thing only affects itself. Just look at our world, our reality. Everything is connected. Let's use the rain for example. When it rains, there's much more than just a visual effect. It gets cold, things get wet, there's less people outside because people don't want to get soaked. If you do stay outside, you might get a cold. Driving gets difficult, biking gets difficult, pretty much anything involving wheels gets difficult. Now of course in video games, we don't have the resources to recreate all the components of rain and all the outcomes that accompany it. But fortunately for us, video games are a creative medium, and there are tons of ways to give meaning to these game elements. Let's take a look at a game called Animal Crossing, a game notorious for being part of the why am I even having fun right now category of games. The goal of Animal Crossing is unclear to say the least. It's just a game where you live in a house, pay off your debts, and participate in your own little town's community. Where Animal Crossing draws its strengths from is its ability to make everything feel connected. For every action, there's always some sort of reaction. Give the store enough business and they'll expand. Leave your house for a year and you'll be welcomed back with cockroaches. And if it's your birthday, everybody and their mom will know about it. And this connectedness is demonstrated with the rain as well. If it's raining in Animal Crossing, the music changes. The townspeople are out with umbrellas. Plants and flowers get the necessary water that they need to grow. There are different bugs and fish you can catch only when it's raining. On top of that, all the villagers in town acknowledge that it's raining, and they all express their own feelings about it. So when it's raining in Animal Crossing, it's not just a visual effect. You associate it with all these other things that accompany its presence. But the association doesn't have to be as direct as it is in a game like Animal Crossing. Take Persona 4 for example. <laughs> Persona 4 for example. <laughs> in the game, your group figures out that there's a murderer somewhere in town, and dead bodies are showing up after foggy days. And these foggy days always happen after consecutive days of rainfall. So not only does the rain act as a cool little effect to add some variety to the game, but it also acts as a grim reminder to the player that the murderer is going to potentially claim another victim in a few days, unless you do something about it. So the rain doesn't just mean it's raining, it means people are gonna die. But anyway, back to Zelda. What kind of meaning does this rain have in Breath of the Wild? Well, the game's not out yet, but I can already speculate a few things based on what they've shown so far. We already know that Nintendo is making, what seems to be, a very interactive world. And I'm sure that the rain will have some part in that. For instance, we already know that Link can set fire to things. It would be hard to imagine that the fire stays lit for a very long time in a torrential downpour. A more obvious thing would be the lightning strikes that seem to accompany the storms, and I'd be damned if there wasn't some sort of puzzle involving those. Also, they're fucking terrifying. And on top of that, I'm sure there will be certain things that only show up in the rain, like in Animal Crossing or Xenoblade Chronicles X. This is just speculation based on what we already know, but even this is enough to give meaning to that weather effect. Yeah, on a surface level, it's just rain. But for me, it's exciting. The rain is like music to my ears, like a melody. Like a song of storms. <laughs> you get, you get what? Oh, oh, come on! It, it was just a joke. It, it, it was just a joke. <laughs>